Jean-Auguste Dominique Angre was a French neoclassical painter born in 1780 in Montauban, France. He was deeply influenced by past artistic traditions and aimed to uphold academic orthodoxy against the rising Romantic style. While he considered himself a history painter like Nicolas Poussin and Jacques-Louis David, it is his portraits, both painted and drawn, that are celebrated as his greatest contribution. His expressive distortions of form and space made him a significant precursor to modern art, influencing artists like Picasso, Matisse, and others. Angra began his artistic journey in Paris, studying in the studio of Jacques-Louis David. In 1802, he made his debut at the Salon and won the prestigious Prix de Rome for his painting, The Ambassadors of Agamemnon in the Tent of Achilles. By the time he left for Rome in 1806, his style, influenced by Italian and Flemish Renaissance masters, had fully developed and remained relatively unchanged throughout his life. While in Rome and later Florence from 1806 to 1824, he regularly exhibited his paintings at the Paris Salon, although they were often criticized by those who found his style peculiar and outdated. During this period, Angra received few commissions for the historical paintings he aspired to create but sustained himself and his wife through portrait painting and drawing. In 1824, Angra finally gained recognition at the Salon with his Raphaelesque painting, The Vow of Louis XIII, which received acclaim and established him as the leader of the neoclassical school in France. Although his income from historical commissions decreased, Angra achieved further success with his portrait of Monsieur Bertin in 1833. However, the harsh criticism of his ambitious composition, The Martyrdom of Saint Symphorian, led him to return to Italy in 1834. He assumed the directorship of the French Academy in Rome in 1835 before permanently returning to Paris in 1841. In his later years, Angra created new versions of many of his earlier works, designed stained glass windows, painted significant portraits of women, and completed The Turkish Bath, the last of his several Orientalist paintings of the female nude, at the age of 83. Angra Early Life and Education Angra, born in Montauban, France, was the eldest of seven children. His father, Jean-Marie Joseph Angra, was a versatile artist, while his mother, and Malay, came from a family of wigmakers. Despite the disruptions caused by the French Revolution, Angra received early encouragement in drawing music from his father. However, his formal education was cut short when the local school he attended closed in 1791. This lack of conventional education would later become a source of insecurity for him. Influences and struggles Angra artistic journey was shaped by his exposure to various influences. He studied the works of great masters during his time in Rome, and his style developed as he drew inspiration from the classical art around him. However, when he returned to Paris, his unique style clashed with the prevailing artistic trends, making it difficult for him to gain recognition. Despite this struggle, Angra continued to refine his skills and experimented with different subjects and techniques. Recognition and legacy Despite facing challenges throughout his career, Angra persevered and eventually achieved recognition for his art. In 1806, he won the prestigious Prix de Rome, which allowed him to study in Rome for five years. He later became the director of the French Academy in Rome, solidifying his influence in the art world. Angra artistry gained the attention of Napoleon Bonaparte, who appointed him as a senator. Angra continued to create art even in his later years and won a government competition at the age of 80. His legacy extends beyond his own works, as he influenced numerous talented artists, including Jean-Baptiste Regnault, François-André Vincent, and his own son, Marie-Joseph Angra. In conclusion, Jean-Auguste Dominique Angra, a French neoclassical painter, left a lasting impact on the art world. His dedication to upholding academic orthodoxy against the rising Romantic style showcased his commitment to tradition and past artistic traditions. Angra portraits, both painted and drawn, are celebrated as his greatest contributions, with their expressive distortions of form and space serving as a precursor to modern art. Despite initial criticism and struggles to gain recognition, Angra persevered and eventually achieved acclaim for his art. His influence extended beyond his own works, as he inspired artists like Picasso and Matisse. 
Angra legacy as a leader of the neoclassical school in France and his contributions to the art world make him a significant figure in the history of painting.